Yeah, hi there, this is uh, TuxAuto.com again. Welcome on my video channel. Today we want to talk a little bit about another mini PC and that is the SROG Desk Mini X300, which I have here on my uh, desktop. I bought the Desrot X300 after I was a little bit disappointed about the same H470, which I did a video on, which I place a link here in the video description, which is for Intel based uh, CPUs. And uh, in combination with the QuickSync feature, I thought it would be a little bit better to maybe, okay, a bit, lot slower, of course, but I uh, could had the um, thought that I could use this uh, little PC for uh, video editing with the DaVinci Resolve, but that didn't work out. So I bought this one with the uh, AMD Ryzen 5700, which has a built-in uh, graphics card or graphical unit. So I could use it maybe for video editing. Assembling the uh, desktop mini PC, the Desk Mini was the uh, same like uh, on the H470, which I showed you in the video, and uh, that was done pretty quick. You just install the uh, uh, CPU, the RAM, and maybe you install either a SATA SSD or NVMe M2 drive, so you have uh, storage on this uh, system. After that, the uh, 5700 is almost as powerful as my regular PC here over here, which is of course now almost six years old. And I took um, five videos and I converted them with the handbrake. And uh, doing that on my desktop PC with the Ryzen 1700X CPU and a dedicated graphics card took about 38 minutes. And the same doing it here on the little ASRock Desk Mini only took a minute more. So that was pretty useful. And just for a comparison, it took over uh, 86 minutes on the uh, Intel 470 with the Intel GPU. So I think I got a more powerful system here with the X300. But of course, it's a, a pretty useful desktop mini PC and it doesn't take that much power out of the wall. In idle modes, you, idle mode you got only 11, 20 or 12 watts. Of course, if you make uh, the system really run on all uh, CPU threads, then you get uh, around 70 watts. But uh, regularly for home office usage, you, you might as well have a, a Word document or something like that and that uh, would be not that uh, any energy consuming. And then I did, uh, of course, with the uh, DaVinci uh, experimented and you can do video editing with that. If you follow a couple of rules, that, that means the uh, timeline resolution is set to half or even a quarter of the regular resolution. And uh, normally all my color grading and other uh, processing details I do in an uh, adjustment uh, clip and I fade that out or disable that while I'm editing on this uh, little system here and uh, because I switch over to the big system for exporting uh, the final video with all the settings I did on the um, video and that is uh, shown here as you can see here, the uh, graphics unit is almost uh, at the maximum here, even though I'm only playing back the video. And so you couldn't use that for finally exporting the video or you have, uh, you have to have a lot of time. On the other hand, for things like Photoshop or Lightroom, this little system is uh, pretty perfect almost, even though the um, built-in uh, graphics card is not as good, of course. Only the parts of Lightroom which make heavily use of the graphics card, like the noise and other things, uh, are not as fast as with a dedicated graphics card, that, but that is okay. With the assembled van, or the van fan, which is um, 
shipped with the uh, chassis, you can you have a lot of noise if you put a lot of stress to the CPU as you can hear right now. As you could hear, that's uh, pretty, pretty noisy if uh, the uh, uh, CPU and the GPU are on uh, maximum. So I switched the fan, I installed a Noctua, which is a little bit uh, lower in noise, but uh, if you stress the CPU, you will hear it. But it's not as annoying as the built-in fan from the system. If you compare those uh, two systems from the front, they're pretty equal. Only on the back, uh, they are, uh, there are differences because the uh, X300 uh, doesn't have as much USB 3 ports as the H470 and you even find a USB 0 port on the X300 as you can see here. Okay, but I'm pretty uh, satisfied with this uh, little system and it's uh, power saving modes so I uh, can use it as a home office PC and uh, even if I use it uh, for image processing or video editing that um, is pretty good on this system. Okay, that was my little review on this uh, little desktop mini for AMD system. If you have any questions, you might as well place them in the comments of this video or in the comments of the original blog post. And uh, if this uh, video was a little bit helpful to you, you might as well place a like on the video. And I surely would appreciate it if you subscribe my channel, but then don't forget to hit the bell so you get a notification every time I upload a new video. Okay, that was my little review on the Desrock X300 Mini PC. And all I have to say is, till the next time, ciao, tux ocher.